a lot of engineers are interested in radar systems, signal intelligence, electronic warfare, communication systems, beam forming systems. People doing these kinds of things are going to be interested in the FM Comms 5 in order to synchronize at the RF level multiple antennas in or multiple antennas out. The AD9361 offers a two by two solution, two independent transmitters, two independent receivers. For people who need more than two in, two out, the FM Comms 5 shows how to synchronize at the RF level two different devices to implement a four by four solution. To drive that to a M by N solution to drive how many different options you'd like. To get things up and running, you'll need the FM Comms 5 board, which has two 9361s on it. You'll need the Xilinx ZC706, which has a Xilinx Zinc 7045 on it. And then just a couple peripheral components, the keyboard, mouse, and HDMI monitor. The FM Comms 5 has the ADI supplied reference design. We provide not only the schematics and the Gerbers, but also all the HDL code, all the Linux drivers, all the user space algorithms to do the synchronization between the two different devices. Having one platform with standard infrastructure all built on open systems, on open standards, helps people to build on top of things. So you don't have to worry about the RF synchronization piece. You can be just worried about your algorithm because ADI takes on the responsibility of making the converter, making the RF transceiver, talk to the FPGA, and works on the 12,000 line device driver to make the transceiver work properly. The FM Comms 5 helps people save a large amount of time, anywhere between six to 12 weeks worth of engineering effort by building on top of something that's already proven to work and supported long-term by a company like Analog Devices.